Hey guys, this is Captain Rex, and we'll come back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be building the hat trick shop, so a new shop in a new area. Uh, but today, I got a bunch of new things from the newest video. Uh, so yeah, um, so holding off on this area until the next lovely world video, and then we'll probably extend this out, do all the terrain stuff. I just want to make sure, like, I want to see what this terrain looks like because we can do that in this video. Uh, I just went around and removed all these snowmen because they're basically gone. So if you guys want to do that. Um, now, I think I just kind of removed some grass around over here. Um, I actually might have... I feel like I'm, there should be some grass added that I missed. Actually, no, it looks to be pretty good. But um, yeah, the whole back right corner is like all chiseled out now. Uh, but we'll just leave that for now until we uh, see that in the newest video. Okay, going by my list here. Next, I, I removed the uh, chest from Christmas in William's Cave here. Um, then after uh, that, I have... Uh, so the UFO, you just want to make sure there's no water coming out of this anymore. And I have a bit of updated interior. So this is what this side should look like right here. Um, I'm going to check that again. Did I... I feel like there's supposed to be two chairs over there now. Okay, this is a side facing towards town. Or what? Okay, no, there's supposed to be one chair there. Okay, but uh, there's some updates. Like, for some reason, the detector rails and stuff is gone. I don't know if that's an issue with moving the console edition to bedrock. But if we turn right, uh, this is what this side needs to look like. I think like some of these used to have like one chair and then now they have two um, This side I'm pretty sure is the same and then this side needs to look like this over here Oh, and we want some stone buttons There and there do we got them over there. Okay, perfect So let me see here next up on the list a bit of a terrain update to the side here This is what it needs to look like now uh, so you don't see that stone there um, I don't know if that will change or not, the new part up here. And then this path right here is going to need to be changed out to our birch and spruce pattern. He said all the paths will be changed out around here, uh, but we'll just wait and uh, make sure in the next video. Um, the next I got from a bunch of stuff from Hayden Jesser. So the first thing is in the uh, school over here in this flower room, there's supposed to be a fence post and then a chest in that corner. And this is what's supposed to be inside the chest. So there we go. I uh, missed that. Um, on the bank, there's no torch right here. Um, and then over here, there's supposed to be uh, two grass right here as well on this corner. And then down in the secret base, uh, okay, we got our new water rel here, elevator here. There's, these slabs are missing some spots. It might be a glitch, I don't know, but we'll see next time we head down to the secret base and looks over there. Um, and then the last thing, somebody told me that I forgot in the dentist to show one of the chest containments, which we did do. So let's just head over there and inside the dentist in this room. That's what we want in this chest right here. So, we should be able to head over to Hat Trick and begin building. So, we're going to count over from the corner here. I've already marked out where it goes. So, we'll start here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So, 22 block gap. And then these three are just going to come in two, like this. And then that's our little path coming into there. Um, okay, so then we want to grab some uh, black wool. So we're going to bring it out. Let me see how far it comes out on each side of the uh, door here. I think it's one block or one block on each side of the path. So there's going to be five blocks here. And then we're going to need to make this circle. So we're going to have two, one, two, and then it's probably another five. Yeah. And then one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, 
two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two. So that's kind of the outline. Um, and then this is going to come up a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Uh, so yeah, we're going to bring this up to a total of eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, let's just go around and do all of this, bringing it up. Yeah, and this is an interesting build. Like the outside is actually pretty good. The inside's a bit uh, boring, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. But it's nice getting along here. So we got like that edge of the water there. I mean, kind of. Yeah, we are against the fun land technically, with the bit of terrain we did in the last video. Um. Okay. Then let's fill in this here, and then we're gonna bring this up. And then after that, there is going to be a ring of uh, coal that is going to go around the top of uh, this. So yeah, it's going to be pretty uh, simple to do. Okay, so yeah, let's bring that up there. And then let's fill this in here. Whoops. Um, okay, let's bring this up. Okay, there we go. So yeah, let's grab, I, I think it's coal. I don't think it's obsidian. Yeah, it's coal. Uh, so we're gonna bring a ring of coal around uh, this right here. And then we can do some of the details on the outside of this before we work on the uh, top. So yeah, we're obviously gonna need to break out some space for the door there. Now the floor on the inside is gonna be uh, white wool. So we can put this and the door is actually an iron door. We want a stone pressure plate and then we can get a oak sign. So let's put a iron door. It's actually facing the other way like that um, stone brush plate and then the sign here is just going to say hat trick and I need to update that sign because it should be on the top line since this was not built in bedrock wow quick fi fixes on the reference um, okay so torches are gonna go around so if we leave three blocks here there's gonna be a torch there and on the same level where we have the one block it's gonna go on that side and then we're just gonna keep going around and put it in the middle of this side and then the one block again like that and then over here on this side we're gonna come around and do that and then on this side over here and then we can put one on the middle there and then I think we're good to go on that side there as well so okay there that is um so I guess next what we can do is we can fill in all of this top with black wool uh, before we do anything else and we can begin kind of the rim of the hat because this is kind of like a big top hat shaped build there's obviously magic you have like the bunny coming out of the hat which I could never pull off um, okay so let me see how I want to uh, do this because it's kind of hard it's like the okay so let's come to the middle here and we'll bring, well, yeah, we'll put a block there and then we'll bring out these two. And yeah, it does come like three blocks in here. So we want to bring this out two more on each side with these three blocks like that. And then we're just going to have, it's just going to come in one, three here, three here, three here. I think it's just three all the way around. Yeah. It's just three all the way around on these um, coal blocks. So yeah, we can put three here. We want to make sure this is three. If we turn this way, 
three, three, uh, three like this. So yeah, you just want to do this pattern all the way around. That makes it much easier. That is nice. Um, okay, so yeah, this is kind of where we turn, and we're just going to add ones here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, there's three. Three there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I think, ooh, how is this gonna go here? How does it go here? Uh, it should be all diagonal. Oh, I think the error box should just be four. Yeah. But uh, anyways, yeah, so we want, like so this comes out here too we're gonna have five here and then two on each side then we're gonna have three diagonal and then two five two three diagonal two five two and then three diagonal two five two three diagonal okay so that's looking good there so uh there's these little supports that come down so where we have these five we're gonna put some white wool here and here and then white wool down right here and here and this is just going to come up with black wool as this little detail and then we're also going to get these uh these also go on the back uh but not on the sides just on the front and the back with these supports so yeah let's bring uh this down uh here so if we leave Okay, we need to come over here real quick. I think it's here. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so we have that. And then in the middle of all these five sections, we're going to put torches inside the brim of the hat. Um, and then we need to do the little ears. But I guess first we can count over. Uh, one, two, three, four, five from uh, this one, because it's gonna be a torch. One, two, three, four, five, we leave, and then torch. Um, so, okay. Um, so for the ears, we're just gonna need some white and pink wool. Now, one of them is like straight up, one's kind of like pointing out or inwards, I guess, I don't know. But uh, let me get to the front here. Um, so from this block we're going to leave one and then we're going to have three and then we want to bring this up We want to add two three four five six seven eight blocks one two three four five six seven eight On each side this is going to get filled in with pink in the middle here Then we're going to have a block up like that And then in back here we're just going to fill in behind the pink to make the first little ear and then over here, one block away, we're gonna put our three. And then we're gonna bring this up one, two, three more with our pink there. And then the pink's gonna come. And then we want it to come like out one, like this. And then out one again. And then we're gonna do that one more time. Uh, yeah, so we have a total of three. And then we can just put blocks up here and just like going down along like this uh like that um is that correct yes and there are some torches on the back of this uh we want one right there and then right there let me see if i got this out the correct height okay perfect so we should be able to move on to the inside now that the outside is uh complete so yeah, let me just fly into the inside on my reference and uh, the inside's gonna be pretty straightforward. But uh, first thing we wanna do is we're gonna replace all the floor with our uh, white wool. Now we're right on top of the entrance to the bank, as you can see. So make sure not to break into uh, there. This is probably be the last we'll be seeing of that bank stuff underground. Well, I hope. 
I don't know, we probably have other builds that are over it as well. Um, okay, so yeah, let's fill in the floor with white. Um, and then we can fill in the roof because the roof is actually going to be uh, red. Um, okay, so yeah, let's keep filling this in. We're bumping up against that. That's okay. Um, so, yep, we're almost done this. Okay, so let's grab some red wool. And we're going to leave three, four, five blocks above the door. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, just right here. And this top part up here is going to be filled in red, which actually makes it look really nice. The black and red uh, always look together or look good together. Um, so yeah, let's fill in the top part up here. And then that should be good for that. Um, okay, there we go. So, um, one block above the door, we're gonna get a torch, and then it's just gonna be on that level on every side. So if we just come around here, there we go. Over to this side, there we go. And then we line it up over here, there we go. So obviously, first thing we need to do to get out, you're going to need a stone pressure plate down there as well. And um, let's begin. If you come in, you turn left. Uh, let's just begin working away at that. So it's going to be some cauldrons in here. So two here, two here, and then ones like that. Over in here, we're going to have some oak logs going across. Um, we want some brewing stands. And there's chests, which I do not have the containments for. So there's going to be one, two, three, four brewing stands, and then a chest. Um, and then over here, we're going to have some more cauldrons, two, one there, and then one there. And then we have our little counter here. So it's going to be one oak log like this. What way is that log facing? Uh, unless you're facing up, it's just, yeah, then we're gonna leave a gap one up like that. You're gonna have three, one up like this, and then two like that. Um, so we can put our pressure plate. Now, what way does this open like that? So we're gonna put it right there so it opens like that. Um, we're gonna get some oak pressure plates for right here and here, and then our stone brick stair is gonna go in the middle here for the cache. Um, so next is over here in the corner we're gonna have some bookshelves so there's gonna be whoops I didn't put that pressure plate in the right place two and two like this is just gonna come up three blocks and then we're gonna get some slabs on top um, now there's oak logs across here and I have a bunch of empty item frames so I'm assuming he had to remove the stuff in that because of updates and that and then okay this is the interesting thing i hope this does not blow this place pieces but uh i never really tested this out which i should have but uh yeah so diagonal to this we're gonna put obsidian and end crystal okay that worked better than i thought i think it's just when you destroy it it blows up but uh yeah one block away from that we're gonna leave and then there's a torch there um, and then two blocks away from this, we're going to have a row of logs, and we want them to be sideways. So it's going to be a row of logs, uh, five blocks, three, four, five. Um, they're just going to be over here as well, so we can just place those temporary. Um, so there's going to be a chest here and here. Now, uh, this chest on the left... I have some containments for the one on the right I don't so one on the left we just want 10 uh, 10 ender pearls I don't know why I did that we put that up in the corner um, and then we're gonna have some enchantment tables three of them in the middle here 
Um, and then over on the other side, we're going to have some ender chests, glowstone, and let me grab, where is it, flower pot, pretty poppy. Okay, so we're going to have three ender chests here like this, then we're going to have glowstone, flower pot with the poppy. Okay, so I think, oh, no, 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 no. We need to do the chandelier, which I almost forgot about. So we're going to need some fences and fence gates. So we come up in line with the door. We're going to leave four blocks on the roof. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to place a post there. And then we're just going to leave one block. And then a post. And then another post. Like that. And this comes down two blocks and then these are going to connect up like that and then off of these we're going to have uh, ones like this and then in between these we're going to have a bunch of open fence gates which is an interesting design but yeah they're just going to be open like this and then on top of all the fences we're going to get some torches for some more light. Um, okay, so there we go. So I think that's it for uh, hat trick here. Yeah, it looks like it. So I think in the next video, we're going to be just moving on next door. Uh, I don't think I'll be ready to do... Yeah, the, yeah, when I record this, probably next... That won't be out yet, but it'll probably be either the end of this week or uh, next week that uh, we tackle that over there. But anyways, first build in this new row. It's looking pretty nice. So yeah, uh, thank you guys all for watching. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or stuff, leave uh, something in the comments down below. Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga videos will be coming out very soon whenever I have time to record that. So look forward to that. And I think I'm going to make that a premiere series. Uh, I did premiere for John Rose. It's pretty fun. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.